somehow going to read the open mic after the Jimmy's Woman feature at the High Center. Yay! Because it, it's not in the show, it's after, but just because it's a woman and stuff. This is a streamline, 2017 streamline, My Brain Was. My brain was fighting to get out. My brain was stupefied after my name is called for winning an award. The only thing my brain could think was that the man on stage from the American Legion with my medal looked like he was the nicest man on earth. My brain was crouched down on top of that glacier when the wind became just that violent. My brain was commanding my, my fingers and toes, my, my, my rosy cheeks and the tip of my nose. No, you're not cold. Just lean back and watch the dancing and arcing of the aurora borealis. Because 1.30 a.m. is the best time to see them on these late September days just south of the Arctic Circle. So deal with the cold. You'll be glad you did. My brain was determined to get to the top of that mountain. I know I'm not a climber. I prefer hot tubs, but those ski lifts are closed, and these are the Alps. And really, how many chances am I going to have to climb the Alps? My brain knows you're only wearing sandals and socks, and there's snow and water everywhere, but this is your only chance. My brain felt like a heel <laughs> being carried past the last water pit coming back down from that mountain. But looking back, my, my brain was pleased. I had to try. My brain was trying to remember how to breathe, turning my head, hoping that I could catch my breath as the atmosphere was pushing me at 120 miles an hour before someone pulled my parachute cord. My brain was on high alert, but more than that, my brain was excited to keep swimming further down, get closer to the row of over two dozen white-tipped sharks off the Galapagos Islands. My brain was keeping me awake again last night, thinking about what went down during the day or what I gotta do tomorrow. My brain's always thinking of new places, contemplating new challenges, opting for new options. I lie awake and think, that's my brain for you. Always looking for something new. Short one called Statue. I think of statues of Greek gods, how they were what people could aspire to be. They were always something to strive for. And I've had no inspiration other than my own mind. I've created my own images to keep me going. And I've succeeded. I've done it all. I've got the fame, the fortune. But now I look around, and all I see is destruction. And I see the ruins of a fallen age. And I just want to see that statue. It's so vivid in my mind. And I know it has to be out there somewhere. But I've been working so hard, so long, that I forgot about that light at the end of the tunnel. And now I don't know where to look. someone here read a poem called Moonlight. Um, I was 13 in the eighth grade in class and I was talking about doing formatted poems so many lines. And I'm like, hi, does this work? This is Moonlight. Moonlight is a hypnotist putting people in a trance. Whenever you look at it, it takes over your soul. No one can stop it, but no one wants to. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.